Alright guys, this is going to be a slightly different sort of video to usual. Um, coming to this one a little bit late, it's already 20 to 10 here. And uh, yeah, I can't really be bothered to try and do like really good gold lap and edit it and do all the voiceover and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to do raw footage until I get gold. And I guess you guys will see a sort of normal process that I go through to try and uh, learn these tracks and cars. So here we go, it's Thursday, we've got a new time trial and we're at Watkins Glen, we've got 153 as our top time. So let's have a quick look at the leaderboards and it seems we've got a mix between F-Type and the Sylvia for what the best time is. Okay. Um, We'll try the Sylvia first, I guess. Shout when you see it. Oh, I've seen the F-Type already. Maybe I should just use that. Is this in any sort of order? Anyone see it? I'm going blind here. Fuck it, let's take the F-Type. Okay, first things first, let's load up this top ghost. And for anyone who's interested, I have my ghost set to display loaded ghosts. So obviously the gun we just loaded up. Reset uh, each um, split and I say it 0.2 of a second ahead of me. Sometimes that's a little too close, but it's usually okay. And what I tend to do Particularly I haven't got, if I haven't got my contacts in, but I do have them in today, so it shouldn't be too bad. But just up this temporary exposure, make the track a little bit brighter, easier to pick out uh, any detail that you're going to use for your breaking points. Right, let's jump in and give it a go. Fingers crossed this won't take too long. So we're in these Group 4 cars. So this should be relatively easy to drive. Okay, so probably just after the 300 meter board. Could have got on the power earlier because obviously it's gone out nice and wide there. I'm assuming we're going to be flat all the way through this. Yeah, this is a lot easier than that Corvette we used last time we were at Watkins Glen, isn't it? So, question is where to break for this. Oh, I was on the grass. Well, we saved it. Obviously lost a chunk of time because I was on the grass when I touched the brakes. We can get on the throttle earlier than when we were in the Corvette. Because uh, that corner is a lot shorter. I haven't driven this track very much, only in a few daily races, and I, I don't really get a chance to do the daily races very often. Ah, oh, there's a chunk of time lost in wheel spin there. Dear me. Yeah, look how much speed we lost. Okay, it's not the 100 meter board. I reckon it's somewhere between the 2 and the 100 though. Should be able to carry a fair amount of speed through there. Is this going to be flat or a lift? A little lift, nice and early on the throttle, could run wider. Hi, right, I've done it again. Learn where the rear of the car is, man. Okay, so loads of time to be gained because I made uh, a lot of silly mistakes in there. A worse exit than the first time.
already lost like half a second or something through there probably. Right, don't touch the grass this time and it there was barely any break in. Wow yeah, I gotta work on that turning point online. Wow. Okay. Yeah, didn't have all that awful wheel spin. I feel like I lost more in the wheel spin than I did in getting the uh, chicane wrong. Right. So it's just after the 200. Try not to get a wheel on the grass now. So I think the top time was a one fifty three something, so Yeah, we're starting to get the feel of it a bit better now. There's going to be so much time in this chicane though, I really need to learn where the turn-in point is. Might have to go and watch an onboard to find that properly. So let's see, 600, 500, 400, 300, and we're turning in. Tried to carry a bit too much speed through there. Are we gonna get track limits on exit? Don't know. Don't look like it. Late apex on the power, nice and early. Gained a bit of time through there. Probably could have been a touch earlier on the throttle. Like that first application might have been bang on. So it's just after the 200 for this, wasn't it? Well, that kind of worked for me. Yeah, we'll take it. One point five off. So I guess it's to a fifty-five. Oh, the ghost disappearing there really threw me. Wow, that was weird. What did we need for a gold anyway? So as you saw pop up, we have actually already achieved gold on lap three. Um, I continued on because I did not realize that. And I did a few more laps, which I'm now going to edit out. I know I said this was going to be raw footage, but hey, here we are. I am doing some editing anyway. And yeah, I'm going to cut through and show you what I decided to do as a little bit extra for you guys. It's barely a faster lap. There's loads more in this. Right, let's come out and have a quick look. See where we're at. 155.4, basically. Oh, we were in gold anyway. Okay. 56.5 is all we needed, so we did that ages ago. I'm going to try and get a 54, and if I can do that in the next 10 15 minutes, then you'll be watching this. Okay, as you can see, I decided to set myself a new target of getting into the 54s. 
So what you're going to see now is a little montage of me, one, achieving that, and two, making a lot of mistakes and being way up on a lap, but not quite managing it. And eventually ending the stream, and it was like a 30 minute video that was uh, unedited that I was going to put out, but I'm going to just cut around a little bit now. That was a banker lap. Didn't quite nail the angle there, so we lost a bit of time. But cleaner on the throttle there. Carried too much speed through, so didn't quite get the exit, so we lost a little bit of that time, but... Oh, 55 flat. Oh. Oh, didn't nail the middle of that. Huh. Just getting too excited, not being clean. God, guys. I had no idea I was in third. Oh, my God. Wow. Let's see where it puts us in the leaderboard. Ooh, three stars. Excellent. That'll be worth five grand, won't it? 765th. Okay. Let's cut the video there. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. If you check the time top corner, you can see it hasn't been long since I actually ended the last video. Literally, the very next lap I did was uh, 54.6, just about. Uh, so we're now top 500 in the world. So, yeah, I'm going to show you this lap. This is how I went top 500 in half an hour or so. Let's have a little look. I've also uh, turned the replay down. So you guys can actually hear me talk, probably, hopefully. Um, so yeah, this is the lap I managed to put together. So once again, this breaking point now, 300 meter board just after. And then nice and early on the throttle, run it out wide, use all this runoff. Keep it nice and straight, steering input smooth, don't scrub any speed all the way up the hill. I think we're safe to skip ahead. Alright, so there's so much time in here as you guys will know. It's just you've got to get this turn in. So 300 meter turn in, break down to fourth, and then just carry it all. I was worried that I was going to lose out there. But it kind of gave me a nice entry for this. And again, early application of throttle, just before that sort of Marshall's hat on the right back there. 200 meter board, we're on the brakes. Wide entry, late apex, early on the throttle. Lovely, carry the speed all the way down the hill. Let's go. I don't nail this, but it's better than I have been doing. After the 200 meter board, get us in. I play around with the throttle. I was worried I was gonna start um, sliding again. So there's time to be gained in there, I will admit, like quite a lot actually, but yeah. Now then we're coming up to this lovely little corner that's uh, just after our 200 meter. Tucked it into that apex, lovely, on the throttle early. Again, nice uh, out to that rumble strip. And then follow the lines on the ground for all that corner. And this one now, you really don't have to break very much, just like a small lift. Do I even break? Just the tiniest amount. And then again, early on the brakes, and it's just a touch. I probably could have left it in fourth, running out to the wall and head for the line. That's a top 500 time. All right. So thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope that you got something out of it again. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, drop a comment for some feedback and your times, and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more, all the cheesy bullshit. Cheers, guys.